going to be a busy day. I've got to uh, pull the tape off uh, yesterday while the um, epoxy was pretty much cured. It came back. I quit about 4.05, something like that was when he finished wetting out, and I came back at about 6.10, 6.20, something like that, and cut around the other three sides. This, this was pretty much non-sticky at that point in the heat we were having today. But I wanted to show Mr. Dukes, the uh, shop teacher up in uh, Juneau, Alaska High School, the kids are building my Laura Bay, and I, I put a, a little link on it the other day on uh, their uh, blog where their photos are. And uh, reminds me, I've got a picture I'm going to print out and show the kids too. We'll do that a little bit later after lunch. But I wanted to show him that you can let the, uh, as long as the tape doesn't get down on the wood underneath of it, or not the tape, but the uh, wet epoxy and it adheres to the wood underneath the tape, you can go ahead and let this cure. So let me reset up and we'll do a little bit, a couple foot of it. Just kind of cut along the edge. If you get a little bit of blue in there, that's fine. Ah. That's enough for that. I'll come back here. You could almost peel the uh, now come off here. The glass tape off the masking tape and pull pull it off. I was almost thinking I could do that and use this tape down here in hunks for the uh, the border that I put in down here, but that's neither here nor there. So we'll pull this all off. Oh, that's where I stopped it. Okay, <laughs> I'll continue on off camera. Do one quick little thing. Right about in here is where the very edge. There's maybe one or two layers going this way right down here that's why I was measuring and put the line in so I could get the most material out of it and then it starts getting thicker back up in here you can see with the tape off you want to go around and knock off the edge here fills on the on the um, corner overlap and it came out pretty good so we're back to using the inch and a half putty knife I've got my boards my stiffeners, there are a couple of, uh, I'll show you the pieces, they're a little, uh, not quarter round, a little wider than quarter round, uh, so they're, uh, I don't know, uh, probably uh, an inch by a uh, half inch, so it gives me a nice little, and they're rounded, so I've got them held in place and i got them uh, lines marked, and so i got to um, uh, disassemble all this, and I'm debating whether to use... Um, liquid epoxy or gel magic. I may go with the liquid epoxy and just really goob it on because then it'll just flow out into the uh, the weed fill anyway. So, because there's going to be a, a fillet. We'll put it some easy fillet along in here, use our ball. And I want to try a, a technique somebody told me about on my comment section. I'm going to dip the the balls in um, uh, alco alcohol and I supposedly that'll uh, smooth them out. We'll see what happens when that, we come to it. Got the other side already epoxied temporarily in place. Now I'll just go ahead. Oh, now we're in. I'm putting down a big, big thick layer of epoxy here. Really slathered on. You want it when the uh, when you put the other wood on here. You want it to be able to squeeze out. And we'll use our brush to 
squeeze it along the. Uh, I've got some marking things here too. I'll pull them up once. Well, maybe I won't. I want them there in case it starts sliding around. And then I'll take them. Uh, the clamped, you have, they have them clamped set. I'll take them apart so I can put epoxy in between the two halves and then uh, put a layer on them too. A good thick layer of epoxy to squeeze out. So let me go ahead and mix up some more and we'll come back. You don't need to see me put it uh, on, the, on, the, on the rails themselves, but we'll come back when I'm putting it all together again. I'll let you look in over my shoulder here as I do this. Down to my end mark here. This end will be rounded over before I put the two layers of glass cloth on it. And I've got center line marks down here. Okay. Still there? Okay, good. Now I can start adding my plastic strips so you don't go gluing everything to everything else. guys under tension so there I'm gonna dig it around in here so I could get out some wood for make some more clamps. Okay. Back on our edges? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Start of another day. This is all cured, so I can go ahead and all that stuff. But also, I mentioned that I had a, a photo I got from my my kids up in Juneau, Alaska. Well, not my kids. It's uh, Mr. Duke's right there. His class. Uh, they built my lower bay in the background. So I'm pretty proud of these kids. They did a really bang up job on building that hull. Uh, first time for that kind of uh, construction for them. So uh, <laughs> I'm happy. Let me get rid of this stuff and we'll come back and um, continue. It's gonna be a busy day. I've got the uh, filleting here and probably gl uh, glass taping if there's enough time. Uh, two or three layers of glass tape. And then uh, the fairing, gotta sand the fairing down and put on the yellow. So we'll be back. Got everything off, sanded, sanded the sides. Uh, I was trying to decide what was the order of uh, application. I had one of my, uh, put one of my balls. Where the hell did it go? Rolled away from it. One of the little metal ones should be what I'll use. But, um, I decided I'm just going to do a two inch cloth if it fits perfect down to the seam and then I'll fill it over the top of it 
after it greens out a little bit and then put the three inch on top of that. So I'll go ahead and pre-wet the area. This is actually the uh, brush I was using around the edges. I hadn't used it for a while, but I was, or the trick, I was uh, putting a little bit of vinegar in a small container and just setting the, the brush in it. Scrape it over a, a, a hard edge to scrape all the epoxy out of it. And then put it in the vinegar, vinegar container overnight. It seems to work. This is a cheap toothbrush, and so it uh, there's more space between the fibers than a higher quality. Even though sometimes the higher qualities work better for application because they're not dripping so much because they're a little denser pack. over the end a little bit, so I've got a uh, piece of blue tape down here for my cut line, about one inch over, so I'll give myself about three quarters of an inch, and I should probably bring this back a little bit. Trying to get as much done today as possible so I don't have to sand. I have to put a, a coat of epoxy on here tomorrow so we fill. Hopefully I'll have all of this stuff done today and it'll cure overnight. And then I'll still be able to get a, a chemical to chemical bond. Ah, get back down. Wish that I had did the fairing first. <laughs> nah, it's going down. centering the uh, tape so that the edge that's to me is right at the uh, crack between the wood and the bottom of the hole. So much of this, getting out of range anyway.